we go! Hello, everybody! It is I, Zach, Mr. Charlie Murray. Has your research turned up anything else on this terrorist ghost? Zash is not here. I have beat her back. I am ready to serve you. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. She is a plague, a thief of my flesh. <sighs> Shut up and give me Zash. She is more useful to me than you are. Let me speak with her. No, I will not obey. I will not give over my identity to an intruder. <laughs> I can shock him. <sighs> yes. If you won't let me speak with her, I guess I'll just have to force her out. I will remember this. Thank you. That was just the opening I needed. You have no idea how disconcerting it is to be pushed to the recesses of your own consciousness. But you didn't call me here because you missed my company. What is it you need? Ah, uh, we've arrived. Have you managed to find any more information about the terrorist ghost? Ah, yes. I did manage to sneak in a little extra fact-finding before I lost my bearings. It seems the ghost you're after was once a Sith from Darth Malak's invasion force that destroyed Taras a few hundred years ago. The ghost was one of the Sith left to die during the final bombardment, for some spiteful reason or another. We're all trigger-happy sometimes. Don't any Sith ever die of natural causes? Most Sith don't see 50. <laughs> Elios Malus at the Imperial base will be able to tell you more. If he forgets his manners, remind him you're my successor. Well, technically I'm not your successor. Not exactly. Uh, welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor. Welcome back, Explosion. Episode... 17? I believe. We're going to do a little bit of talking to our companions and then we'll head down to Terrace. And of course, we always begin with our true, true love, Andronicus Revel. Hey, remember I was telling you about Carl Norn, great tech, bad card player? Got me into the pirate racket. Just got a call from him. He's in deep. The Hut Cartel on Nar Shaddaa's got his number. He deserves what he gets, but he's done good by me. I promised I'd meet him on Nar Shaddaa and help him out. I'd be happy to lend a hand if you need it. I appreciate it, but it's nothing I need to drag you into. I'll try not to be long, huh? Even though we're on Taris, but hey-ho! So what happened with your friend Carl? Were you able to help him? Yeah, thanks for asking. Carl's same as ever. Never got a hand he didn't want to play. His debts weren't anything a few well-placed blaster shots couldn't settle. I wish I could have helped. You're a pal, but it would have been a waste of your time. Thanks for letting me bail him out. Pal? We're in a relationship! Andronicos? Cam, hi. If you do not find a way to destroy this witch, I will tear every piece of this ship apart. I will devour everyone on board. That's quite enough of you. Why you did this to me, little Sith. Your silence mocks me. Technically, you did it yourself. And it wasn't my ritual as well. How was I supposed to know what would happen? The rituals of Tulak Horde are not games. Your master meddled in something she did not understand, and now we both must suffer. Fate and fortune weave a torturous web of flies and for flies like us. Did Tulak Horde ever switch bodies when you were with him? No, but I was only with him a very short time before he put me to sleep. Clearly he didn't love you, Ken. If you could free me from this curse, I would follow you willingly all my days. I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you, my master. I await my freedom. Oh, well, you're going to be waiting a long time because I remember when I did your companion story on uh, my light side version, and yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, where am I going now? Oh, so we've spoken to Kem. We've spoken to. What companions do we have? We're not going to be companions. Kem. Oh, is that what we got? We got Cam and Andronica. Oh, I thought we had more than that. I mean, we have HK, which we're not bothering with. Um, and we also have... Um, 
Andronicos. And that's it. So what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You know a good spot? And don't say Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. Why they were spring? <laughs> Hello? Can I ask you something? <laughs> if you could live anywhere, do anything, what would you do? Uh... I have power. My own ship. I can do pretty much whatever I want. Why would I want to do anything else? Not a bad life, is it? Used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly. Didn't matter where. But I like working with you. Ship's nice. The company's not bad either. Granted, I'm no lunk-headed pirate, but I think I deserve better than not bad. I'm teasing. Hey, who are you calling lunk-headed? Crazy Sith. I mean, technically, Listaria is is bad. She's she's she she's dark side. So yeah. Oh, we're close to the next tier. How lovely. Let's make our way down to Taris for the Padawan mission. I remember when um Zash was saying that most Sith don't live until 50. I wonder how old Kranatoka would be, technically, because I'm imagining when he arrived in Korriban, he was like 20 years old or something like that. My my best my best guess, and the the events, the class story events. Uh, Rise of the Hot Cartel, Shadow Raven, all took place in like I think the le next four years or something like that. I think um, that's that. You know, I saw that when I was doing my research for some of the videos I've made in the past. And oh god, I think I swallowed a fly. Hold on, let me get a drink. There you go. Now the fly will be drowned in Oasis. And then of course, coffee happened. Trapped in carbonite for five years. Spoilers if you don't know already know, but come on, it's been up for practically a year now. So he would be about 29, 30-ish. Yeah, so he's still pretty young. He's still in his younger years. Um, I quite like that. Yes, and he's definitely matured. He has definitely matured since uh, he arrived on Korriban, and I like that. Oh, I like this. Watch this. Watch this. Ah, I can't watch it. But it it ah what are you doing? There you go. It sort of drops out. What if I was in its way? What if when it arrived I was actually in its way? Would it crush me? Oh, you look like Darth Maul. Are you Darth Maul? I mean, you got the mask and everything. Oh my God, is this actually Darth Maul? Just before he was important. I mean, he doesn't have the spikes coming up, but he looks practically identical. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to see where he goes. And he's going on the ship. Well, that was an anticlimax. Oh, but I wonder if I were to follow him wherever he goes, if he'll arrive on the toxic lake. Let's find out. And he's not here. Oh well, yeah. Is that is that meant to be Darth Maul or something? That was uh, a surprise. That looked almost exactly like Darth Maul. If he had like the spikes, maybe the spikes are something he got when he became like I don't know, leader of the Sith or something. Ah uh, no. Uh, Ilios. Is that how you say your name, Ilios? Ilios Malice. Ah, it is. You were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I, I... Forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. S excuse me. Hold on. New wardrobe. I've been wearing this since Korriban! Let's start again anyway. Yep, yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, sorry, no, hold on. I'm ruining the cutscene. Oh, this is a pleasant surprise. I had heard the most unfortunate rumors. You're better off not believing anything anyone says about me. Yes, of course. The grapevine does lie, doesn't it? 
Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. Have you now? It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Don't let it get stuck in your throat. Speak. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness, if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi Masters. Okay, well then, let's go see what we can do to manipulate her. I kind of... There's something about his voice. It's a bit weird. It's very, um... How do I, how, how do I sort of put it? It's a very throaty when he talks. And there's something about those who have a throaty voice that I kind of like. It's I kind of like it. It's kind of soothing. It's an annoying voice, but it's a soothing voice at the same time. Oh, we don't have to travel far. It's literally just around the corner from the base. Okay. I mean, when you said there was going to be a sort of Jedi base, I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, there. But okay. If, you know, the Empire and the uh, Republic want to be close together. They can be. Ooh, toxic waste. I wonder if I'll become a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle if I jump into it. Probably not. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, hi, Nexu. You're a scavenger, but sadly, I don't think you need the uh, data bank. Thank you. Just some grass. I can't. I can't do it. You know what? You want to move a rock? Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again. So, are we assuming that that was being recorded? So was he all like, okay, we're going to record your training? Right. Uh, okay. And, oh yeah, of course, it's not actually a, it's just a little campsite for... I thought there was somebody down there then, just some droids. Yeah, it was just a campsite. I thought it was like a Jedi um, actual base, but it's not. Okay. Where am I going? Going the wrong way! Uh, the second one is some. Ooh, something I can actually uh, scavenge. Or, well, it's archaeology, but. Eh! 251. I'd lost you there. What am I up to? Yeah, 251. Lovely! And this one. The Jedi Code states, there is no passion, there is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion, there is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see. This line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. 
Ah, oh, she dreams of the stars. Oh. Why have they got Jedi training on Taris? Of all places. Hi. Taris of all places. Where there's rat ghouls. And death. Uh, I was going to say, is this a Republic base? Can I just pass on through? Yeah, please ignore me. Just passing on through. I need to go get a holocron so that I can steal one of your Padawans. Oh, wait, of course, I'm a stealther. Why do I always forget I'm a stealther? Ugh. Oh, idiot Charlie. Why do you do this all the time? Ah, oh, my day just keeps getting better. Gonna warp your mind. Yep. Just gonna get this for my archaeology. Just gets better and better and better. Thank you, 255. And then the holocron. Kill him! Ashara, relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. Oh, there's a fourth one as well. Hi again. Uh, what if I can race you to the fourth one? I think I can. You're still mind trapped. Lovely. There's one up there. Um, but I think if I were to uh, go get it, he'd beat me to the holocron. And I don't want him to do that. So I'm going to um, leave it. It's a race. Damn it. Was he a stealther as well? I didn't check. Probably should have. Ah, well. Hello, last one. Please be the last one. Varric, Eli, and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. Ha! That's what I mean. I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan! Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. So she wants leadership, does she? Wow, I'm pretty sure we can exploit that. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She feels as though the Jedi don't trust her strength. I must show her that I do. Hmm. Yes. Excellent thinking. Promise her power or wealth. Something to win her trust. Let me think what could we use. It must be something tempting to a young Padawan. Money, power, knowledge? A handsome young smuggler? No. That's it. Knowledge. Money, power, love, they're all too obvious, but knowledge? What's wrong with wanting a little knowledge? Ah, yes, here we are. This outpost here used to be occupied by the servants of a powerful Sith. Supposedly, they left behind a holocron when they abandoned the site in haste. Another its one. contents are probably beneath you, but what Padawan isn't tempted by the lure of forbidden knowledge? Do you think she'll really fall for such a trap? Simply pique her curiosity. If you can get her alone, your usual techniques of persuasion will prevail. Of course, you will need to find the holocron first. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities. Eh, I survived the rat ghoul plague. Pretty sure I'll survive the rat ghouls on Taris. I'll take the crystals, thanks. Oh. Well, I actually thought I was going to get to level 38. Um. I was going to say, did I not get any experience with that? It almost looked like my experience bar barely went up. Huh. Okay, well I guess the experience I'm getting isn't enough 
to uh, justify it. Hi again! Not your time yet. We meet again! Uh, what, what exactly were you? You are a Sith assassin! So you can stealth too! Why didn't you stealth all the way in here then? Why, why, why didn't you do it? Or oh, are you the sort of person that wants the experience? Oh, God. In that case, I will go get this crystal that's over here. Don't mind if I do. Uh, where have I got to go? Well, apparently it's telling me to go to the taxi terminal. So I shall. There it is, folks. With the awesome sunglasses. Again, am I the only one that thinks that? Okay. And while I wait for the taxi to take me to where I need to go, I'm going to play Cluster Truck. I died. No! Oh! oh, oh whoa! Woo! I actually hit the floor on Cluster Truck and I survived! Oh. I didn't survive that time, I got crushed. Well, I'm not going to survive that. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cluster Truck is a great game. Your time Absolutely yet. insane. No, of course it's not my time yet. Again, keep saying. Hopefully not for a long time. Um, no, get rid of that. We need to go in the Rackle Tunnels. Hooray! And of course, I'm going to stealth all the way. Oh. Hi. Uh, okay, don't know why you're hiding there, but okay. Place has a creepy kind of vibe, huh? I mean, who knows what could have moved in here since the planet was destroyed? Well, I mean, there are rackles. They were here before the planet was destroyed. Um, and depending on your choice, it would depend on if you had the cure or not. But that didn't stop the actual rackles from moving in. And they made this place their lovely home in 300 years. How delightful. Oh, I like that. Though I have no idea where the, uh,. The light is actually coming from, but hey, I like it nonetheless. Uh, where's that I'm going? Have I got to go through that door? Uh, it's not very clear. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, oh, hi. Um, can you do that, please? Thank you. Don't interrupt my uh, conversation, please. Oh, done. <laughs> that was okay. easy. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? I found the holocron. Excellent news, my lord. And I'm pleased to say that I found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. Where do you get all this free time? I am only doing my duty. I suggest you contact the girl using a hollow communicator from a nearby Republic soldier. In the past, Sith often used dark side holocrons to turn weak willed Jedi. If you can convince the Padawan to look, she'll fall easily. Good. Where have I got to go? Uh, can I quit travel there? Eh, uh, sort of. Fine. More cluster truck! Oh, I still died. Ah! Oh, that's handy. I literally just need to go up the road. Oh, why, thank you, game. You do care for me. La la la, just gonna sneak through. Can I, do I just need to kill? Uh, I, th I think I actually just need to kill somebody. Uh, no, wouldn't be you. It would be you. Hello, arms master. Don't mind if I, uh... Stun your droid. I can't stun your droid, can, can I? Because it's, uh, it's a droid. I think this is the first bit of killing we've done this whole episode. My word. Just going to kill the droid. Please drop it. Thank you. Lovely. Uh, I should probably get out of sight before I do it. Ah, We're good. Get out of sight before I do it. And cool. Ashara Zavros. I've discovered an item that I believe might be of interest to you. A holocron of some power. Who are you? How did you know my name? What makes you think I'm interested in a holocron? Uh... I'm trying to keep this holocron out of Sith hands. Because you don't sound Sith. Why Sith call me? Why not take this holocron to one of the masters? Brian or Osera? Aren't you a Jedi? Why should you have to defer to them? I... Well, yes. I am a Jedi. But even if I was interested, I shouldn't leave the base. 
This is your chance to show your masters that you're worthy of handling such a delicate item. God. You're right. I can prove myself. I'll come. Just tell me where to meet you. The swamps near Republic Territory. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. If they ask, I'll tell my masters I've gone to train. Oh! God! Hysteria is so cold and evil! I love it so much! I'll take that and I will wear that. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Probably like 20 minutes. Ooh, that, that looks interesting on her. The way her clothes are set up right now. Um, but should I leave it here for now? Where do I actually need to go? Because I don't want to do too much this episode. Uh, I kind of just want to tease Ashara as uh, joining me in the next episode, really. I think we will. Because I need to get this episode edited and up before, like, 10 o'clock. Because it's, it's, uh, it's Monday today. I'm recording this on the day this episode's meant to be up. Ugh. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.